Joined this morning with local author, Mr. Christopher Nill. Christian. Well, Christian, Christian, excuse Christian. me. <laughs> well, he's publishing a book based on his time in a Guatemalan village with the Peace Corps back in the 80s. Good morning. Thank you so much for Good joining morning. us. And first, I want to ask you, uh, why were you there in the first place? Tell us a little bit about the Achimaya people. Okay, well, I, when I was a young man, I really wanted to get a chance to work overseas. Mm. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's uh, Mark Twain who once said that uh, travel is fatal to uh, prejudice, bigotry, and narrow-mindedness. I think the same goes for overseas service. So I wanted to work with the, um, uh, the Peace Corps. They sent me to Guatemala. Uh, and I worked in a small community of Mayan uh, Indians. The Achi Maya, that's one group of the Mayan Indians. There are 23 uh, uh, Mayan languages in Guatemala, mm. and that's wow. just one of them. So, and I learned a little bit of Achi, but mostly they speak Spanish, so almost mm -hmm. all of the Mayans are bilingual. And in your book, it's your experiences with those people, correct? And you know how, how you spend time with them and some of the things you yeah. did. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll try to. Um, I know there's a lot in there, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Uh, <laughs> and it is illustrated. And uh, th in the book, I tried to develop what I would call, well, what the writers of Pulp Fiction, I guess, call <laughs> a slow burn. Mm. The, although this is decidedly nonfiction because it started out, uh, we were very energetic and optimistic about uh, what we wanted to do. I worked in reforestation mm -hmm. and soil oh, okay. conservation, planting trees, because there's a grave problem of deforestation in mm -hmm. Guatemala and throughout much of Latin America. Um, and we started out with the best of intentions, but we had c arrived in Guatemala, I had arrived in Guatemala at the very cusp of the darkest chapter of mm. a civil war mm -hmm. in that country. A civil war which lasted about 35 years and ended in 1996. Um, so ultimately I was evacuated from my Peace mm. Corps site wow. because of the civil strife there. But leading up to that time, I got a lot accomplished uh, in reforestation and uh, just living with the people mm -hmm. and uh, enjoying their company, sharing confidences with them. I loved every minute of it, even the darker times, which were hard to bear, but mm -hmm. uh, it was a tremendous experience. Sounds like an wow. absolutely fantastic read. I'm sure our viewers are very interested as well. Where can people pick this up right now? Well, uh, right now you can only get it on Amazon, okay. which I guess uh, almost everybody has yeah. access to. Yeah, we would think so. Uh, I'm working on seeing if I can get it into uh, some local bookstores mm -hmm. here, and that might happen soon. Boy, Carl, that sounds like a great read, doesn't it? Uh, it absolutely yeah. does. And quickly, just why did you decide that this was so important to tell the story? Well, because uh, the Peace Corps has three main goals. To provide um, uh, expertise to countries that need trained expertise and also to give uh, to, uh, for, uh, to, to make a, to help t uh, t the Guatemalans uh, or the people overseas mm -hmm. understand Americans better yeah. and help us understand mm -hmm. the people overseas better. So I'm trying that third goal, trying to help Americans understand uh, people from overseas better. Boy. That is fantastic. Great. Mr. Noel, thank you so much for being here. We thank really you. appreciate your time. Thank you for Check out his me. book. It's on Amazon right now, but coming to a local bookstore near you hopefully soon. We'll be right back after this.